This is how you can make a Google Bard AI command using your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that you're actually going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and click the link in the description below to get to this rapid API page. Once you're here, just go ahead and subscribe to this monthly subscription, which is actually $0 per month, and you do not have to enter any information. You're going to get 500,000 monthly API calls with a 10 requests per second limit. So it's pretty much infinite. This is going to work perfect. So so once you've gone ahead and subscribed to that, you can actually go over to our code here. We're going to go to community and we can go ahead and create bard.js. And here we're going to get our slash command builder. We're also going to get our embed builder. Then we can do equals require. And we're going to go ahead and get discord.js. Then we can do const axios equals require. And we're going to go ahead and get our axios package. Following that, we can get our module.exports. And we can actually get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. Then we're going to go ahead and set a name, which is going to be either Google Bard or you could do like chat GPT or something. So I'm just going to do bard uh, for the tutorial. But this is basically like chat gpt so for a more popular command name you could call it that then we can go ahead and set a description and we can say ask the ai a question finally we can go ahead and add a string option and we're going to do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be question and we can go ahead and set a description we can go ahead and set the question to ask the ai and we can go ahead and set required to true then we can go ahead and add a comma we're going to get our async executes you can go ahead and pass in your interaction and you can go ahead and open this up first thing that we're going to go ahead and start off by doing is is saying await interaction dot defer reply and you can go ahead and set informal on that message to true just so that you're the only one who can actually see this message next we can do const and we're going to go and get our options and we're going to go ahead and set that equal to our interaction and then we can do const question equals options dot get string and we're going to go ahead and get our question string then after doing that we're going to go ahead and do const input equals and we're going to go ahead and open up a new object here so this is going to be the object that you're actually going to get uh, for the input variable here it's going to be the method, which is get the URL, which is going to be the Google Bard URL. You can also get your headers, which is going to be your text. For me, I'm actually going to make this question. Um, and then you can get your language. For me, that's going to be English, your PSID. So what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go over to bard.google.com. The link for this will also be in the description below. From there, you're going to go ahead and do control shift I. Once you've done control shift I, you're going to go ahead and go over to application at the very top here. Then you're going to go over to cookies and you can go ahead and open this up and then you're going to go ahead and select bar.google.com right here what you're looking for is your secure one psid you can just go ahead and click on that now below here you're actually going to go ahead and get your psid that we're going to go ahead and use for this so you can actually just go ahead and copy it now keep in mind you are going to need to do this on the browser edge or i think it should work on safari but sometimes if you try it on other browsers this will not work for the api next we can go ahead and actually put that in here now i'm actually going to go ahead and put this in a little bit later along with my api key because i don't want to have to blur anything within the code out so just go ahead and put that in and then you can go ahead and put your api API key in that you're going to get from the rapid API site. Once you've done all of that, we can go ahead and open up a try catch here. And we're going to go ahead and do const output equals await axios.request. We're going to go ahead and request our input. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do const embed equals new embed builder. We can go ahead and start by setting a color. I'm going to go ahead and make this a blurple. We can go ahead and set a description here. And all I'm going to do is output.data.response. So after doing that, all we have to do is send it. So we can do await interaction.edit reply. And we're going to go ahead and get our embeds which is going to be our embed. The final step here is adding a catch error and we can go ahead and return await interaction edit reply and we can go ahead and say contents and we can say there was an issue getting that AI response. Try again later. And that's actually all we have to do there as well. So one thing to note here, I've also gone ahead and linked this website in the description below. This is going to be the documentation for this. So even though this is a rapid API hosted API, the documentation is private and it is made by this user from my discord server. So shout out to them. They were able to create this API and update it. Uh, so just shout out to them for that. But this information has all of the documentation on this API, like how to actually make the code, how to to actually get your PSID, which I did just show. Um, but if you're having trouble with that, you can go ahead and look at this as well, how to integrate it into a page and all of these supported languages. So it basically has pretty much everything you would have for your documentation. So if you're interested in looking at that or you need any support with this, go ahead and check that link out in the description below. So now that we're done with all of this code, I'm going to go ahead and put in my PSID and my rapid API key. 
after you go ahead and do that if you haven't already we can go ahead and save the file restart the bot and test this out all right so now over in the discord server we can actually go ahead and test this out by getting our bard command and we're going to go ahead and get our query so the first thing i'm going to say is hi just to see if the ai is working and as you can see it's going to go ahead and think here and defer a reply basically and then once it's done we're actually going to get a response so now it's going to say hi there how can i help you today and if we go ahead and try this a couple more times this time we can go ahead and say write a 200 word essay on plants or something completely random like that and we give it a second to work now as you can see we have a 200 word essay on plants and it's all displayed within the embed all written by the ai if we go ahead and do this one more time we can say who are you or something just like that to the ai basically as you can see now we're going to go ahead and get a response as what bard actually is which is going to be basically an ai response and yeah so that is how you can make an advanced Google Bard or AI command using your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.